How was Brixton like growing up? Bro. Was, <laughs> yeah. you, was you getting in trouble? Yeah, was you... it was, do you know what? I guess, I guess, I mean, I count sometimes the amount of people around me that have passed away over the years. It's mm -hmm. like ways to pass like 45, you know what I mean? Of man them that I've grown with or known. Like Brixton was, I joined, I was in part of Untouchable, so I joined okay. Untouchable gang, didn't it? So right. shout out to the Untouchable you mm -hmm, Just waiting mm -hmm, for you to, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I've got good, proper yeah. skills yeah, yeah, at yeah. interviewing, because yeah, you yeah. didn't say it. But yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. obviously yeah. Brixton back then mm. was them times Untouchables there. was yeah. hard. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah come on, man. come on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 There was a lot of serious guys around. Serious guys, do you get what I'm saying? And I feel back in the day, Brixton was one of them areas that kind of couldn't go Brixton if mm. you didn't know no one down there. It weren't like now where you go, it's all Shoreditchy. You know what I'm saying? But mm. then, if you don't know man from there or you don't know certain people from, uh, you just couldn't go Brixton, man. It's, it was one of those no-go zones. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Um, I think South as a whole, Brixton was like, it's weird. It's like Brixton almost became the capital area when you mentioned South back mm. then. Do you know what yeah. I mean? But obviously it changed and all the other areas started to get their shine and it kind of went like that. And then you obviously Peckham and... Do you know about any girl them getting troubled up and all that? Nah. <laughs> I'm getting mad, innit? Nah, 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 do you know what I get? I've got questions coming from left field. Yeah. Questions coming from, you weren't yeah. ready for that. You weren't ready for that, but yeah. it's cool. Nah, yeah, we're nah, not nah, getting nah, into nah. all of that. Yeah, nah, uh, that, 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 that weren't my team. See? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, no, nah, nah, but do you get what I'm trying team. to say? No, nah, but we have to let them know that my team. people weren't seeing that. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Because yeah. it's being alleged. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah, well. That weren't my team, man. I was just about running around on the road, mm. getting involved in dumb stuff, yeah. having the whole, kind of, obviously the gang stuff and all the rest of it, but I was doing music as well. Do you get nicked? Um, uh, a couple of times for bits and pieces, mm. do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I had a few little, little run-ins, you know what mm. I'm saying? Um, but um, for the most part, I was just focused on being, doing doing the best that whatever I could do, which at the time was obviously, I was doing music. Mm. And even the whole gang thing, to be fair, I, I even got into the whole thing by, by accident. I didn't even mean to be running around on a roll. It's like, that's like saying, be careful what you wish for. Yeah. Car, that was in my life, you know what I'm saying? Mm. And I just kind of got myself caught up in a situation that wasn't even real. And then I found myself having to be, become that person now. Mm. And then, do you know what I mean? And I'll tell you what happened, it's mad. I was on the door of one party. So after the whole, when I was 13, mm. got into a fight um, with some boy. And consequently, as a result, it didn't go too good for the youth, you know what <laughs> I mean? Um, but yeah. And then um, I started doing security, bodyguards and mm -hmm, doors mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So I was on the door of this party. I never forget. It was just me and my machete. Yeah, mm. you know, them house parties where it's just random, yeah, blah, yeah. blah blah blah. So yeah. I'm on the door, and um, this brother comes to the door talking about he wants to come in. Do you know who I am? Type thing. So I'm looking at this you like, but I don't really care who you are. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But this is not even me. This is this is my ego talking now. Yeah, like, not the real me. Right now I'm shaking. Mm. It's my ego talking, isn't it? Mm. So the youths come to the door now, and I'm like, I don't really care who you are, isn't it? So he he, he flicked out a, a like a double oh seven lock knife, mm. but I got a machete. So I thought, let me swing for this youth's neck in it, just to scare him. Mm. I wasn't even intending to mm. hit him. So I swung for the runner and it hit the wood. The wood shattered and he just ran. So he started to run down the road. So I chased him down the road with the knife, with the machete. Mm. I come back now, I'm standing on the door, posted up. Everyone's chatting like, rah, Freddy, Freddy, this, Freddy, that, Freddy, that. Mm. Then the youth come back, but mm. his head was bust open, blood everywhere pouring down his top. Mm. All his top was red, you know what I mean? Mm. So he's come back to the to the dance now, like staggering. Mm. And everyone thought that I chopped him in his head. I didn't do it. He fell over and banged his head somewhere. Mm. You understand? Mm. But you know, it, there's no social media. Yeah. So words started to, rah, 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 Freddy, this, Freddy, <laughs> yeah. that. I, I didn't even do it. Mm. Yeah, his head, yeah, yeah, but I didn't do it. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, I didn't do mm -hmm. it, but it looked like I did it. Mm. Yeah. So then what happened after that now was because of the result of that now, any fights or arguments I got into, man, they were like, nah, Freddie gonna chop you with something. Mm. So then I found myself now having to be that person now. Mm. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I now I'm By having By default. To, yeah, <laughs> yeah, bruv. Now I'm having to walk around with these big, and use them and get mm. into fights and do stuff and defend it. And now I became that guy. I, didn't, I That's not what, I, that wasn't my, do you know what I mean? How was you able to dodge prison? Um, Just be, I mean, smart. And I've got family members who, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's smart, it's a bit mad still. Yeah, 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 you just got to know what you're uh, doing, bruv. Mm -hmm. you got to know what you're doing. You ain't uh, mean yeah. talking to them, boy, them, is it? Nah, man, I'm never that. Mm -hmm. You know, like, be smart was a bit mad. No, I'm joking. No, no, no. That, 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 that kind of smart. Yeah, yeah, but that's never, that's never Let me stop, thing. let me stop. Mm. Now, can you see my jokes sometimes? They go yeah, nah, <laughs> nah, but you get what I'm saying? They go to you mad. No, that's never been mad to me. But in the sense that, you know what I mean? I've never been one to want to do something for the, for the like, just for people to see. If you get into, I mean, if you're in a, if you're in a madness mm. room, man, you just do it, you do it. You don't have to be like front page everything for everyone to know what he's done. Not on that. No, because you know what it is. Obviously, like we have a lot of um, different guests or whatever, but a lot of people's gone prison, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
And it's like even down to like, you know, like me, like I'm chatting or whatever, and they'd be they'd be like, Oh yeah, it's good that Spray's talking for ever for the youths and all that mm. to listen and chat, whatever. But like what Stanner said, big up it's better be- big up Stanner, yeah, but it's better Stanner, it's better for the man them that ain't being jailed to talk. Well, I, 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 go, I'm trying to say, I go then, into prisons. No, but you get I'm saying it's better for you because yeah. then if you're listening to me, I went jail. Mm. So I, I'm, there's nothing I can, obviously, I could tell you like what it's like in there. But I wasn't trying to go them places, bro. Like all my brethren were in and out and I couldn't, com- I was confused, but there's no gal in there. Mm. You understand? Like, yeah, I'm, not, I'm not trying to go in there. I'm not trying to be in a room for 23 hours just sitting down, mm. looking at posters on wall. That, that wasn't my thing. So, mm. Do you know what I mean? And, I, and by default, kind of like, by seeing everyone around me mm. getting caught for different things and doing certain things, that was the thing that made me say, nah, man, I'm not on that. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? And to be fair, when my oldest son was born, that's what really changed my life and made me realise, right, I need to come off this thing, man. Because mm. it was like, man was getting licked down next to me. I had man on the floor. I had to hold his stomach. Stomach's all out of the... Holding the man's stomach, do you know what I mean? And calling ambulance for the man. Listen, literally all <coughs> popped out. I'm mm. holding the guy's stomach in. Because be a car by in them days, isn't Listen, it? I'm telling you, mm. man. Because now it's knife crime, but yeah, them time is man was getting licked down left, right, and centre mm-hmm. back, and, and blatantly. I was trying to tell my son the other day, mm. like obviously back then there was no CCTV yeah, and yeah, so it was no different. mobile phone, so mm. you'd be like in a food shop eating your food, and blah blah blah. And the next minute, man's out on the floor, mm. and then when police come and want to ask you, like, what happened? It was a black guy. Mm. Well, there's about a thousand of us in there, isn't it? A black guy with short hair. Mm. Th- that's your description. That's all you're gonna get. Do you mm. know what I'm saying? Whereas now. Half the police's work is done. Everyone yeah, yeah, yeah. their mobile phone mm-hmm. and stuff, mm. share stuff on social media. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's a different, we're in a different time, man. Yeah, mm. it's, it's serious, serious times we're living in, man. But yeah, bomb, obviously. So, going back to your career, mm. what was the pinnacle? I've, I've done so much from the bodyguarding thing. Do you know what I mean? I've done a bit of bodyguarding work. No, the pinnacle with music stuff. Oh, the music stuff. Yeah. Um, I feel like, because there's know, always there's always a pinnacle with you know who starts. I think for me, I just even getting signed that woo thing for me, mm. because that's something that no one can take away. Do you yeah. know what I'm saying? P- things in history can get erased or forgotten. Mm. And whereas there's a lot of artists out now that have made millions of millions and millions and done more than me, no one else has ever been signed to woo. So yeah. so no matter what people say. I'm the only person from the UK that's You've ever been that signed. One. So yeah. I, mm-hmm. I hold that. Yeah, come know, on. For me, that's one of my um, mm. things. You know what I'm saying? And also, I feel like my children, my kids, man, mm. the way that they look at me, Amen. it's funny because my my son, every year he'd be like, he'd be like, I'd be like, who's your favorite? Big up, yeah, yeah. Young Kruger man, kids, and, yeah. and LK up, as well. Up, you know up. what I mean? Yeah. Uh, young Kruger used to be like, I sit at, at the Young Kruger every every week or so. Who's your favorite rapper? I was like, you dad. Aww. Who's your favourite rapper? You dad. Yeah. One time I said, Who's your favourite rapper? He said, Dizzy Rascal. I said, What? <laughs> I said, Who? He said, Dizzy Rascal. I said, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Dizzy who? He said, Dizzy Rascal. Have you not heard of him? And he played me a Dizzy track. Yeah. And it's hard still. But it was just funny to see that, that, that like, you know what I mean? I was his, I was his rapper. Yeah. And now, you, like, that's when I realised I had to go and look in the mirror, boy. Now, it's like my bridge in Fabian's son, isn't it, Ray? Like, I was like, Ray used to rate, like, and then one time he was, talk, he was telling me about abracadabra. I felt, yeah. I felt. So you feel like, like yeah, you, you can't believe like yeah, Ray, you've yeah. moved on. It's the like, way Ray used to rate, yeah. you know, the, nah, the way my man used to rate my music. Like, That's what I'm saying. It felt when like I personal. Anything, like, I like, it, like, it's like it hurt. And I'm looking at my you like, you know what? No, nah, no, nah, you don't get no food tonight. Yeah. That's no presents for Christmas. You know what I mean? I was like, I mean, but it made me look. He'd moved on. I can't remember what rapper, but he'd moved on still. It made me look in the mirror at myself, man. But that was one of Really? biggest turning you know. points in my life that there made me realize that you know what i mean it, it actually helped me do you know mm. what i'm saying because i i think the rap thing for me i love spas and spitting and all the rest yeah. of it but i know when you realize you get to that point where mm-hmm. it's like right you got kind of you kind of yeah because that's what i was gonna say i was gonna say that to you as well like how did that feel like reaching that because um, even with me, it's like, it's mad. Because it's like, people are like, oh, when are you going to put music on? And it's like, I don't know. No. Do you know what? That's, uh, do you know what it is? The, uh, the worst thing about it is like, it's like, you know what it's like? It's like you age. So so as adults, we age physically. But not but not inside, inside. inside. Yeah. So even now. You don't feel as old as you my, are. My son's yeah. like, dad, spit a bar or something or do something. So we be doing a little cypher thing. And I'd be rapping. And like, dad, you need to put out music. And I'm like, but... Do you know what I mean? Like, I, mm. like I'm itching. If I could, if <laughs> yeah. I could be him, but be me, 
yeah. I'll, be, I'll be doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So, so you, you know the feeling. Come on, man. You know what I mean? So it's like, it's, it's, like I love, I love that whole scene. But yeah. it's like. You just got to kind of let it go sometimes, mm. man. And yeah. just, you know what I mean? I feel I, like when you're a creative, it's always because you can do it in it. It's like you yeah. always I might feel even, like, I might, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I might Why not? For mm. yeah. That's yeah. another thing I notice in America as well. They're not as ageist. They're not ageist. As, yeah. They're like not how ageist, we are man. over here. Anything they do in America is not ageist, man. Yeah. And the thing is, you you could be in a barber shop. You've got barbers that are like 110. Mm. You know, and they're still cutting hair, like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then you've got rappers that are old Fuck and still sitting bars. <laughs> I mean, mm. right, you yeah, ever sitting on hair. that barber? <laughs> you're not, you're not cutting you ever sitting on that chair? You have that barber chair.